oh my God, I really need your help. I just tested positive for COVID and I live with four other family members. Does that mean they might all have COVID too? I'm really concerned. What should we do next? The CDC says that individuals who live with someone who has tested positive for COVID are gonna have an increased risk of exposure. There are a couple things you're gonna to wanna to do immediately. Number one, from the moment that anyone in your family starts experiencing symptoms, or if anyone in the household thinks that they were exposed to someone who might have COVID, then the CDC is gonna recommend you quarantine that person away from the rest of the household. Maybe that person can stay in a separate bedroom and use a different restroom if available. It's recommended that you provide your sick household member with a face mask to wear at all times to help stop the spread of COVID-19 to others. Everyone else should wear masks at home. Research by the CDC has shown that masks offer protection to the wearer and to those around the wearer. According to current health advice, it is recommended that we all wash our hands with soap and water. Use disinfecting liquids to wipe down shared surfaces and don't share items like utensils, bathroom towels, or anything else. Keep doing this until you are sure that no one has COVID. The next step you should take is to get tested. The Los Angeles County Department of Health recommends that anyone who was in close contact with someone who had COVID-19 to get tested. So in this case, make sure everyone in your household gets tested. The good news about getting tested is that there are plenty of free sites near your home. How do I sign up for a COVID test? If you are connected to a student who is enrolled in LAUSD, all you need is their student email and ID to sign them up for a free test. Those are done at LAUSD locations. You can go onto your student or parent portal or the LAUSD page. They will schedule testing for all household members of an LAUSD student. Another option is to get tested through the County of Los Angeles. They are providing free COVID-19 testing to all LA County residents, whether or not you are experiencing COVID symptoms. The test is free, whether or not you have insurance. There's a link right here. In our home, we stopped watching the news because it started to feel so scary. But we have a neighbor who calls my mom with the newest information. For example, she told my mom that our shoes could bring the virus into our home. Is that true? According to the CDC, the likelihood of COVID-19 being spread on shoes and infecting individuals is very low. As a precautionary measure, particularly in homes where infants and small children crawl or play on floors, the CDC recommends you consider leaving your shoes at the entrance of your home. This will prevent contact with dirt or any waste that could be carried on the soles of your shoes. My mom is an essential worker and she's been coughing a lot lately. She says her throat is a little scratchy too, but she thinks it might be just a regular cold so she doesn't want to get tested until she feels worse. How do you know if you need to get tested? Based on the LA County Department of Health's recommendations, your mom should definitely go get tested immediately. You should also wear masks and have her isolate as much as possible inside the household. Which reminds me, the LA County Department of Health also recommends you get tested if you meet any of the following criteria. Have symptoms of COVID-19 like a cough, body aches, fever, etc. We're in close contact with someone who has COVID-19 in the past two weeks. Are an essential worker with frequent contacts with the public. Don't have any symptoms but believe you may have been infected. I don't have internet access at home. Can I still get tested? Yes. Residents of LA County with that internet access can call 211 to speak with an operator who will help you make an appointment. I was recently around someone who tested positive for COVID, but I feel fine and I tested negative. Should I still stay at home? Yes, according to CDC guidelines, you should still self quarantine for 14 days since your last exposure. It can take up to 14 days after the exposure to the virus for a person to develop COVID-19 symptoms. So even if you texted negative now, it might not mean that you're in the clear yet.
The best way to protect yourself and others is to stay home for 14 days if you think you've been exposed to someone who has COVID-19. My aunt is a nurse at the Children's Hospital, and she's already gotten her first dose of the vaccine. When can I expect to get mine? Well, right now we're in the first tier of vaccine distribution, which is why your aunt was able to get it. Vaccination is currently only available in Los Angeles County for healthcare workers who have the potential for direct or indirect exposure to the virus, and for individuals 65 and older. But they are hoping to open it up to more people soon. To schedule vaccination, determine eligibility, and to register to receive updates, we recommend that you visit the City of LA website, where you can also find a link to register for the vaccine. That website is carbonhealth.com slash COVID-19 vaccines. Households with family members 65 and older are especially encouraged to register now.